Snapstrap. Uh oh, we've got a new uh, series here. That's right. I'm gonna be doing Mega Man X2. Um, got pretty burnt out on uh, Rover Trek, and like I said at the beginning of that Let's Play, it's uh, gonna be the one I'm gonna be going back to frequently. You know, to do five episodes here, ten episodes there. But in the meantime, all the Maverick Hunters or something. <laughs> yeah, this time it's Dr. Kane. No more Dr. Light, I guess. Big backstory here for Mega Man X2. Of course, you can skip all this. The the overall history between Mega Man, there's like different. It's it's almost like it's a, a comic book series that you find with like Marvel or DC, where it's like Jesus Christ, it's so overwrought with so many different timelines and different versions and different things. That it's like it's hard to keep track of, and it's easy to get burnt out and just be like, whatever, I, I forget all of it. But yeah, here we are with uh, Mega Man X2, and it's, yeah, this is one of those games that has one of those special chips. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's got the the wire 3D uh, effect going on there. First thing you want to do is I've changed dash to R. Um, you, keeping dash as A is super awkward to me, so if I switch the dash to R, that's much easier. Much easier, because you start the game with the ability to dash, which is... Really, really, really nice. <laughs> Immediately we're met with a really cool opening scene here. Action right off the bat. They knew what they were doing with Capcom. I mean, damn. Yeah, the ability to dash right away. I love it. This is going to be a little tough for me because I'm not sure what to say. You know, number one, it's going to be a little hard to talk while I'm playing Mega Man. And number two, I'm not sure what quite to say in between uh, Mega Man. I guess I can talk about my own personal experience with Mega Man. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have a Nintendo growing up. I had We had an Atari 2600 when I was very little. It was my sisters, my older sisters. And, um, you know, it was, it was one of those deals where my parents did not want to get a uh, Nintendo for me. Just, you know... We didn't have that much, you know. We were middle class, but we didn't have that much money. But uh, you know, they to them the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It's like it's only ten years old. Why would you want to get rid of it now? You know, it's, we've barely gotten our money's worth from it. So um, we never did get an NES, and that's fine because I had friends that lived down the road from me that played it. And here we have our first boss. Whoops. How do I get that? Oh, I gotta go all the way over here to climb up to. Oops. Yeah, really easy boss. Just four charged shots, and he's dead. Anyway, um, I bring that up because my minimal ex in my minimal exposure to the NES, Mega Man very quickly became my favorite uh, games gaming franchise. Particularly, Mega Man Three stood out to me as uh, being really good. I'm not sure why that one. I think it's because the there was a certain issue of Nintendo Power that uh, had all the hit that had a hit chart for what weapon uh yeah here we've obviously got silhouettes of the villains here talking about talking smack about Mega Man Mega Man X in particular but yeah just the straightforward nature of Mega Man always uh and the fact that there was kind of a, a quote unquote science behind it like this weapon takes this many shots to beat this boss, and this weapon takes this many shots to beat this boss. I really liked that as a kid. Um, I still like it now. So um, when I got a Super Nintendo, uh, Christmas of 1991, the first uh, I, I was on pins and needles waiting for uh, Mega Man games. So yeah, n needless to say, I rented Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, Mega Man X3 all the time. And Mega Man X2 over time has become my favorite and here we go. We're uh, we're past the intro stage. Um, one thing this game does not have is it doesn't have that cool like uh, you know where you can flip between. Uh, inf you, there's not a lot of information on the boss stages um, like the first game where it can, it gives you like stats and stuff like that. But anyway, we want to start with Wire Sponge. Why? I'll show you right away. 
the wall on the left, just climb up it, and there is a heart piece right there. So right off the bat, you get extra, you get an extension of your life meter. Insert joke here. Anyway, one thing I want to ask the commenters, of course I'm recording this like back in, what is today? It's the first week of March. I'm not sure when this will even get posted. But those glass beams, I, I, or those glass uh, orbs, that thing over there that I just, I just missed the jump there. Um, what significance do those have? And does it matter if you break those or not? Oops. I'm trying to get my footing here. There we go. Not sure what the point of breaking those is. They appear to control the weather on the surface. Like, that would make sense. Like, the weather would would normalize. You know, obviously it's raining and it's windy. We got our first energy tank there. So, yeah, I would, I would think that would be the significance there, but it's obviously, you know, it's not the case. Damn it. Dash and then blow them up dash to get out of there. Yeah, I'm not the best Let's Play commentary guy, obviously. Uh, not entirely sure what to say when playing a game like this, other than just rambling about nothing. Sorry. Ooh, I forgot about these things. Oh, those go away eventually. Cool. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, I guess there's not much else to say other than... Uh, why I think this game is better than Mega Man X. That's seemed to annoy a few people. Uh, Mega Man X, ha I, I'll, I'll make no bones about it, it's got better level design, and it's got, um, I think it's got a little bit better, um, geez, I'm getting my ass kicked here. It's got a little bit better um, weapons, boss weapons to, u to pick from and to use. Like, I think they're a little more fun, uh-oh. There we go. I think they're a little more fun to use. Uh, the boss weapons in this game are okay. The level design in this game is still good, but it's not near Le Mega Man X. But um, the, the two things that I pointed, like I pointed out in my review, that uh, are are really fun about this game. Number one is the uh, mid-air dash. It's the leg upgrade in this game. There we go. We can farm for life a little bit. Get uh, that. Get some life in the uh, the old energy tank. Number two is yeah, I'm not getting anything from this guy. Um, number two is that um, the supercharged uh, arm cannon that you get is is really awesome and really satisfying to use, and uh, just a lot of fun. It's 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 basically what I love about the Mega Man series. It's just the pure satisfaction of just annihilating these robotic things. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. Let's get some life in the uh, the old uh, tank. Sorry if I'm boring you with uh, life farming here, but it's just what I do. You hear that uh, little click there, that little uh, beep when you click when you pick up a uh, life that indicates that it is your uh, your thing filling up. I'm not getting any luck now. Oh, there we go. I think that should be uh, enough. I think that should be at least halfway with the energy tank. Yeah, that's about halfway. That'll work. On to uh, wire sponge here. It's always a little intimidating taking on a boss in Mega Man in one of the Mega Man X games without its weakness, without its weapon. Ooh, ouch. Because, you know, you just have the arm cannon. At least when you know you have his weakness, it's almost like a confidence thing. Like, it's like, yeah, I know I can take this guy because I know I have his weakness. When it's just you and your arm cannon, it's a little like, well, it's just me and him. I don't know if I can do this, you know? But, um, uh-oh. Shit. Out of the way. Oh, I almost got him halfway down. Look out. Yeah, that's what he does. He plants these little wires on the ground that act as spikes. He's kind of want to stay out of his way as he's doing that and then attack him as he's hanging 
on the thing, hanging on his little uh, vine rope thing or whatever you want to call it. I got him less than halfway. I haven't had to use my energy tank yet. Ouch. Don't rush either. Uh-oh. He's mad. He's angry. Anyway, don't rush through these boss fights. It's easy, at least for me, it's easy to feel like you need to like beat this guy ASAP and like really take advantage of every opportunity you have. But really, there's no time limit here. Just take your time. Pick your spots. Concentrate on dodging. And then take, take an, you know, oh, he's only got one thing left. I should be able to take care of him here. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So, there we go, our first boss in the bag. Let's see what kind of weapon we get. We get nice, nice little fanfare music. And then the same little pose as Mega Man X. I got the Strike Chain. And we're going to use that to beat the Wheel Gator next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.